Hi everyone, Dawn here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. A huge chunk, well not huge, but a big part of the first section of this video is missing. So I just thought I'd hop on here and let you know what happened. So it, it's regarding the fish. The fish is, I mean, it's an important part, but it's not the most important part. You can actually make these potato cakes without the fish, but they're fish potato cakes. So if you want them to be fishy, then you need the fish. So I just wanted to let you know, I just poached a firm white fish. I used, why is this doing this? I used cod, but any firm white fish will do. Any fish will do really, but I find the lighter flakier fish have too much of a fishy taste to them. I mean, it's fish, it's gonna be fishy, but they're a little too fishy for me. Uh, but you just, I prefer something firm that you can, you know, that, that, that holds a little body. So I used cod and that's what I would recommend, but you can pretty much use any white fish you wanna use. Um, and here is the rest of the video. I just want to add real quick that I have a very, very small kitchen now. <clears throat> and the place that we lived before the kitchen I had was a little bigger. It was a little easier to uh, film in, but I'm finding that it's very, 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 very difficult to uh, make cooking videos in this kitchen. It's so tiny. And that's really why I haven't done as many cooking videos because I've made some things that definitely deserve a video, but, um, I'm trying to, to get my stuff together and uh, film better cooking videos, but it's just been really difficult with this tiny kitchen and uh, not feeling good and all that. So, but hopefully there's more to come and hopefully in a year or two, I will have my huge dream kitchen. We're uh, working towards it, so we'll see. So we're gonna start with about six, I think these are russet potatoes. I like these particular potatoes because they stick really well when I mash them up to form the uh, the patties. And you know, the better they stick, the less additional things you have to use, like flour and egg, and it, it compromises the flavor less. If you the less of that you can use, the less the flavors compromise. And then we boil them. And I start with a cold pot and salt it. I don't know if everyone does it that way, but I like how my eggs turn out. I mean, not my eggs, my potatoes. And here they are boiling away. And now they're ready and I'm making a mess, mashing them up. But I'm just uh, mashing them up with a dough cutter because that's all I have, but it works really well. And then we put, I'm using Almond Breeze. You can use whatever milk you want, just a splash just to add a little bit of moisture in there. Look at that steam coming off of those potatoes. So we mix that together really well. And I didn't add any more salt because the, the water was well salted when I boiled them. So I didn't really add any more salt, but this is where you're gonna add any other seasonings you wanna add in. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. And then I'm just spooning them around just to make sure they're mashed up good enough. And here is my fish. I used cod and just, uh, I poached it. So um, I didn't show how I did that. I lost that portion of the video. I'm sorry for that. Then we just mix that in with the potatoes. We just mash it all together. And you know, don't be afraid to mash that fish up because you're still gonna get nice seafoody chunks in the, uh, the, the potato cakes. So, I mean, I'm abusing it. I'm beating it. Look at it. Look, get in there, fish. Oh, here's my seasonings. Okay. So, that's garlic powder, onion powder. There's some accent, black pepper, and I believe there was seasoned salt. Just a little bit because, like I said, the potatoes were already salty. But when I, porched, when I poached the fish, I did not use salt. I just poached the fish plain. And that is some uh, breadcrumbs that's gonna help bind it together a little bit. And I, in this version, I don't believe I used eggs because the potatoes were nice and sticky, but, you, oh, look, here I am lying to you again. I did use eggs, I used two eggs. <laughs> I am all messed up. This voiceover is being done 
m a month after I made this recipe. So, you know, full disclosure. Because I make it different, different times, and I really thought I didn't use eggs, but... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me but I guess I did so now we're just gonna you want to make sure it gets cool enough to where um, it's good and sticky because it gets stickier the cooler it is and so you can handle it with your bare hands and I'm just forming my little patties and uh, I think this recipe gets me about eight of them I'm, I don't remember obviously I don't remember too much about this day but I like to get a nice little little fat disc and then I put them on a lined cookie sheet. And you don't want to overwork it because you want it to maintain that stickiness, but I like to get that nice round shape. And I made mine almost an inch thick, not quite an inch. I'm putting them over there on the lined cookie sheet. I'm sorry you can't see that. But everyone knows what a lined cookie sheet is, right? And then I take them and I stick them in the freezer. And here they are. And now they're ready to coat and fry up. And, okay, I guess I only made six. <laughs> Seem like that. they must have been big ones. And so I'm heating up my oil, and I've got my thermometer in there. And I, I, that mess around there is from when I boiled the potatoes, and I just I wanted to clean up at the end. So, you know, my kitchen isn't disgusting. That's just potato juice. And then we're going to take our patties, and we're going to coat them in first some flour, Get it good and coated in the flour, and then some egg wash, and then I'm using panko breadcrumbs, unflavored, but you can use any kind of breadcrumbs you want to use. And um, the reason I didn't flavor them is because I put so much seasoning in the uh, in the patties themselves in the mixture. Then here they are frying up. And I'm turning that over. I remember that frying pan. Where is that? I don't know what happened to that. So we're flipping them over. They're not burnt. They're just really well cooked. And then I just put them on a plate with some paper towels to drain the oil off of them and serve them with some ketchup. Here they are. And that's just a little, little piece that didn't get cooked quite good enough. And the that's a that's a perfect one right there that one i just set there do you want to taste one of these so i can get your reaction sure what do you think you like them mm -hmm. are they cooked all the way yep all righty yay eric. It's good. eric liked another food from my childhood yay <laughs>